stable. Alright, hello, my name's Ryan, and I'm going to be talking about some performance things I've noticed on my new laptop that I'm using Arctix Linux on. Let's just first move over here. You can see I'm using Arctix Linux. I'm on an Ideal Pad 5, uh, and I'm running the uh, the new AMD processors, the 5000U series for the laptop. I have a 5300U in this one. I'm using DWM and Z Shell. And the real meat here is that I'm using the TKG MUQSS kernel. And I am have 8 gigs of memory in this laptop. So I'm going to be talking about the. Uh, I forget what it's called. Run. We're talking about Z Ramen and Nanasi. Okay, so Z Ramen is going to be managing Z RAM here, which is just going to be a swap, a compressed swap disk inside of RAM. And I'm using that as opposed to normal swap on this just because this is a laptop and I don't want to wear out the SSD. This has an NVMe in it. And you can see I do have a normal swap partition here and that's just so I can use Hibernate with this for better power management when I'm you know, traveling around. So earlier I was installing Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, so I could do a test between a few kernels about performance on this laptop and I noticed that my ZRAM actually started uh, you know increasing my performance and the Ananity and Anacy however you pronounce it uh, was also really helping my performance so I'm just gonna do a video on both of those right now so people know uh, that they can use those to increase their performance on Arch Linux so you can see here that I have the shaders downloading when I'm about to start up my game right there you see the Vulcan shaders are processing I'm just pause it here and they're each taking up about 12% of my CPU and there are seven of them I have eight cores but you'll notice that my CPU is still at a hundred percent and that's because of my ZRAM my ZRAM over here is uh, six percent is being used but it's compressing the swap pages into ZRAM at a one to two or one to three compression ratio and it's offloading that burden onto my CPU instead of just freezing the computer because it's out of RAM. So, I, I honestly didn't think it would be so effective, but technically this should sort of be like downloading some more slow RAM, like those old, those old download software RAM scams from the two, early 2000s, if, ever, if any of you remember those. So, I'm just going to show how it progresses over time. And you'll notice I do turn on better cooling later, so it drops a little bit from the 70 Celsius it, it's at here now. So, yeah, I see it's dropping down to 60 now. But if we move on to this next video, you'll see this was a little bit later. And the temperatures are staying pretty consistent. The CPU usage is staying pretty consistent. And... The swap just keeps going up. Now it's at 2 gigs, and if you'll remember from earlier, my ZRAM partition is 1.8, which means that. Well, where was I? There we go. Which means that I am now taking up some of my normal 8 gig swap partition. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be happening. I've actually turned off uh, Z swap, which is a different kernel version of ZRAM that compresses swap to your RAM and then once it fills up starts moving old swap pages onto your actual swap partition but I wasn't intending to use anything like that so I could save wear on my disk but yeah you'll see here that my RAM is pretty full and I would usually in this situation start running into slowdowns from being out of RAM but instead it's offloading all of the burden onto my CPUs, which I have plenty of. They would be sitting here normally uh, at 12% instead of at 100%, but I was able to offload a lot of the burden onto that. And see if I can't find it switching. Yeah. yeah, switching windows here is completely smooth. Oh, no. Cool, that's actually the main thing. Come over here to 5. And you'll notice 
this. Yeah, like switching windows is very, very smooth, and that's going to be because of anesity. And what anesity is going to do is it's just a set of sane uh, processor codes to help manage. Uh, load so instead of my processors all shooting off to a hundred percent and not letting me do anything else it keeps processes uh, managed in a sane way so that if I want to do something like open a window or start typing in my in my terminal it's not going to completely freeze up so these two things together I just noticed in this particular situation were really working together to instead of having my computer you know, desktop freeze up, it's going to be working very well now. So I just thought I'd make a video about that because a lot of people say that swap isn't important and I was one of those people before. I only used it for only used it for hibernation, but I was actually very impressed by the performance of ZRAM here.